This video is second lesson from the mini course on build workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. This YouTube series is first section from mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013 at SharePoint Journey School. In this video you will learn how to set up Office 365 E3 tenant. If you want to take full course click on the link below and enroll for a free mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. I hope you to see in SharePoint Journey School. So let's do a simple exercise where we are going to set up Office 365 E3 trial version. Okay. So once I set up, you can go ahead and do by yourself. So, so that uh, you could use that particular uh, Office 365 tenant. So if you want to set up, just search for Office 365 E3 trial. Okay, then click on the link, the first link which is available, which is going to show the products which are available, the Office 365 trial. Click on the free trial button you see. So once you click on it, it's going to ask you to fill some of the details. So fill uh, your country, the first name, last name, and uh, the business email address. So you can give any first name, last name, or your own first name, last name and uh, you could enter the best email because they're gonna send the details to your email then uh, you go ahead and enter the company name and the number of persons which are available in that company so once you enter the all information yeah with the click on next then it's gonna ask you to enter the user id you want to use so I'm just entering SharePoint and trying to use school but some of the IDs might have already taken so you might need to use the different ones which are available for you okay so in this case I'm just trying for the workflows and again it was already taken so let's go I'm gonna try designer workflows now so it's going to be SharePoint at designer workflows dot on Microsoft dot com and I'm going to enter my password. I'm going to confirm the password which I have entered and click next. Then I have to enter a number so that for the verification which I'm going to get it code. I'm going to enter that code. Then I'm going to just click on create my account. So once that is done, it's going to give the account then I can click on the bookmark where I can just save the details so that I can come back and use that information so it's just an optional then I'm gonna click on you're ready to go which is gonna open portal.office where uh, I'm gonna click on the admin icon at the bottom where I see that so once I click on the admin icon it's gonna ask me to update the contact information so if something lost there then I can go ahead and update those information here I'm gonna enter my number and click on text me so I can enter the code and verify that so once that is done I'm gonna enter my email where I could verify or uh, authenticate myself then I'm gonna get the code and once I enter that it's gonna be done once it is verified then uh, we will go to the admin center and you can just click on the wizard okay let's close this pop-up for now I'm gonna just say no thanks this point of time then I'm gonna click on the wizard which is gonna show what are the different uh, actions I could do so I can add users uh, I can go to the home so in the bottom I can see that I can go to different sections so I'm gonna click on SharePoint here which will redirect me to the uh, the admin center of SharePoint online so click on the default site collection that was created so this is a site collection we are gonna use uh, to build all our workflows so you could also use your own site if you want or that can be on-premises okay but I'm gonna use this one so what I would suggest is go ahead and set up the similar kind of trial version in Office 365 tenant so that you could practice what are the examples which we are doing okay so 
let's complete this particular office 365 trial setup before you jump into the next lesson and please ask me if you have any questions while uh, setting up this so i'll see you in the next lesson click link on right to watch next lesson from build workflows using shepard designer 2013 mini course or click link on the left to enroll full course for free on SharePoint Journey School. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get more videos from SharePoint Journey School. I hope you to see in SharePoint Journey School. Thanks for watching.